Hey guys, the Dex V here once again, bringing y'all episode 9 of Lionheart. Last time we saw each other, Arander and I joined up with the Imperials, and um, we uh, we were sent to a fort to clear it out ourselves. Don't don't ask me why. I don't know. But uh, this episode, Arander and I decided. Well, mainly it was my decision on this one. You kind of called a temple. What what? I wanted Skyrim for years. Yes, we know, we know. Arander wanted to go do the uh, Imperial. Uh, Search for the crown, but I don't know. I have a good feeling about these uh, gray beards, so we're gonna take a little trek. Hopefully, it doesn't get too cold, but we brought a tent just in case. And yeah, you can see I'm going, going around the mountain this way. Okay, so I think we're coming up on a what is that? A stormcloak camp? I think at this point we can just run in there and start massacring them, Arander. Now, there's usually somebody who is immortal for some freaking reason, but we'll be ready. Okay, so we're going to use our stealth tactics. I'm going to break out my bow. Turn off my lantern. Oh, you know what? Maybe they'll get terrified of me if I use the, uh, the thum. These Nords really take that seriously. I mean, as they should. Freaking shooting forces out of my mouth doesn't make much sense I don't know but we're gonna utilize it to take this camp maybe we could steal a horse too that'd be nice hello you know Arander I bet we could send you in there and then be like oh what do you want dark elf oh shit there they are huh? All right. uh, nothing held back oh, no, 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 no. oh man right between the shoulder blades oh we are silent like a, the night. I don't know what difficult... Whoa, we're an expert, too. Holy crap. Apparently, I'm just the man. Ah! Guerrilla tactics at its finest. Ambush! Ah, and a swing and a miss. He didn't even hear that. Oh, wait. Ah! Ah! Don't... Ah, the moment he sees that dead body, he's gonna be on alert. So we just gotta... Gotta take advantage of it for now. Ooh, he had a little more health. That's okay. That lady had a cold, I think. Oh, Rander, holy crap! <laughs> Sent him flying. Alright, so we're still undercover here. Not a problem. I want to rush in and just fight all of them at once so that I can work on my uh, racial ability. But sometimes you just gotta be a little careful. You never know what's around the corner. There might be a really pissed off guy in there who, I don't know, just lost his family to the Imperials. And he sees me creeping around with a bow. Or running in with the axe of Whiterun. I don't think he cares. I don't think he's from Whiterun. I don't think he's even heard of the axe. So, I would not place my bet on that. But that's what I'm going to do anyway. Because it sounds awesome. And it's getting a little nipply out here. Whenever it gets nipply, you just got to rush in. Oh, am I now? Trespassing, huh? Get up! Yes! Ah, oh, my item's out of charge, that's okay. Oh, they're coming from the trees, Arander! Ow! Oh, no. Oh, oh, my God, this was a mistake! I told you, that guy! The guy in the freaking blacksmith apron. He's the one that's got something, nothing to lose. <sighs> it's been a while since we saved, but in the meantime, let's enjoy looking at these masks. Very nice paper mache art right there. What the hell, Murdoch? <laughs> Where the hell did he come from? He was just creeping in my last save file. <laughs> just watching us. God, that makes me feel uncomfortable. Okay, so since that worked out so well, we're going to do the same exact thing, but we're not even going to shoot those guys in the beginning. And you may be asking yourself, Tex, why? That doesn't make sense. For fun. That's why. I don't do these things to be smart. I do them because I want to freaking send my axe into someone's skull face. Like yours! Except this time I'm just going to block a little more. Alright, Arander, yep. Use that magic. Oh, wait, the foom. Come on, use it. Oh, I don't have it activated. There we go. It was my lantern. <laughs> I was like, look at my lantern. It's so awesome. <laughs> he doesn't care. Bring it on. Come on. Oh. Oh, I need some help. Oh, my God. Ah, expert's too hard. Forking sun killer? Okay, I didn't know a 
fucking sun killer was here. Aranda, we're just gonna go on our merry way. <laughs> we are not gonna do this. <laughs> How do you get the name Sun Killer? And it wasn't S O N like he's killed a few people. He's eating universes out there. Screw that. I don't mess with black holes. Murdoch, I don't know why you're here. And now he's gone. <laughs> you're a wizard, Murdoch. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Uh, all right, well, hmm, that was a fail. What are you gonna do? Can't win them all, Arander. But I know that I can take that bunny. Get over here, bunny. I'll chase you to the ends of the earth. Ah, yes! Wait, was it? No, it was goats I can't kill. Ah, bunnies are fair game! There it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, you don't! Ah. Uh, forgot that Arander's uh, part of the PETA organization. So he gets a little upset when I just massacre animals for no reason. I just like to remind them that I am genetically superior and higher up on the food chain. That's it. Okay. Let a man do that. Okay, it's getting cold, but we're heading down the mountain. And, I mean, I do have that tent. I don't really have much else in terms of protection from Amar's shame. Oh my god. <laughs> this just sounds terrifying. Uh, it's in a mountainside. Actually, there's nothing too scary out here. Just a, a pool of blood. Stale, stinky blood. Crusty, in fact. Okay, Render. Oh, it's just bandits. Sweet, we can handle this. This is... I thrive on this stuff right here. Please don't be a thrall. Whatever you... Whatever you be. Yeah! Yep, it's a freaking thrall. Wouldn't you know it. This is why we shouldn't go just exploring on top of freezing cold mountains. Because only stupid, terrifying stuff lives here. That's okay. We can handle this guy. Oh, leg injury. Ah, <laughs> leg cramp. Dude, overkill, man. That was... I had him. Didn't need to freaking blow him up. Shoot a rocket at him. Where are you even getting that stuff anyway? I'm just over here with a sharp piece of metal. You've got rockets flying out of your face. I don't get it. I just don't. Arander, what? On a rate of 1 to 10, how comfortable are you feeling about this place right now? Hmm? 10 being the most comfortable. I would say that I'm at about a 2.01 minus 2.01. That's where I am. Ah, but we have arrows. Orcish greatsword. Oh, man, Arander. We just got you a new toy. Come here, buddy. We've stopped. What is it? Look at him. He just doesn't care. What do you need? When he's on a redemption path, like this whole Mara shtick that he's got going on, you just can't stop him. It's actually pretty, uh, pretty cool. There you go. Let me know if we need anything. Yeah, no need to say thank you or anything. You just, whatever. In a way, he did. He was like, you gave me this. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything. I got your back. You know, like... Next time I'm running to McDonald's, <laughs> I'll pick you up some nuggets. Thanks, dude. Thanks. But I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> oh, God! This is a really vampire! Oh! What the hell is up with that? Who installs something like that? Why would you want that anywhere? All it did was kill you. Ah. Man, vampires... They just be dumb, Arander. They just be dumb. Ah. I really need to check if we have a potion of cure disease, which we don't. <laughs> so, oh god, we just shouldn't be in here. This is just the last place we should be. I'll just keep saving. Keep saving. This is a fledgling right here. This is just a freaking pile of snow. What kind of sorcery is this? I don't understand. Okay, Arander, I think that these vampires have uh, a higher sense of of hearing, and uh, they might even be able to sense our life force, so I don't think sneaking is really going to do us any good, but it's worth a shot, you know? Better safe than sorry. I would have rather... Oh, he's doing a little jig. Get your freaking headphones out, man. We are in the middle of something. We need our communication to be on point. He's over there bumping to the EDM music. I don't understand it. Kids these days. I just want to hunt some vampires and be on my way. 
go up to the temple. Ah, why am I not doing that? If let me ask you something, if the sky started talking to you, no screaming at you, Dovakin, would you listen or would you just be like, nah, I'm gonna go into Hamar shame for a little bit, risk my life with some vampire fun? Oh, look at her! Oh, she's just cooking. She's domestic, that one. All right, we'll save her. But you, on the other hand. What? <laughs> no, you can't give me that cool cutscene and then just not. Ah, oh, swing and a miss. Oh God! Oh, Rander, go tank everything. Okay, guys. You blooded vampire. I don't know what that means. All right, well the jig is up. Oh, Rander. Whoa! Oh my God! A Rander is the freaking man. Why is he just not scared of anything? Oh, there's another one. That guy's just running in with his fist. Okay, well, that guy's not scared to fight with his fist, and I'm not scared to run in with my axe. Yes! Are you like that? Huh? Please don't make me contract anything. That was just an Imperial. Arander, are you okay? Arander, what the hell? Oh, no, you're fine. Get up. Get up, get up, get up. Dude, you are the freaking man. Holy crap. Jeez. How can you just have zero inhibition fear for your life? How does that happen? I don't get it. I was perfectly content when sitting up there and watching that lady cook. Like the looks of this place. Not at all. Well, you know, you couldn't tell by watching you. That's all I'm saying, friend. Very, very impressed with you. Want to share some rat? Looks delicious. Yum. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this little thing. Because why not? Because I enjoy the movie Shrek. On occasion. I don't know where it went. Oh, it's an ingredient. Alright, well I'll save it then. Who knows, I might want to do alchemy, I might not. It just depends on whichever way the wind blows that day. And if there's an alchemy table nearby, which there is, that was just convenient. Ah, cooking pot. Alright, so we've got a bunch of coffins everywhere. Do they just choose to sleep in a coffin? Do they just prefer that? Never really did understand that. I mean, you've you've got other options. I mean, you have freaking thralls. You just had an imperial running around doing your bidding. You could be like, hey, run over to the mattress store and, uh, you know, if you don't have any money, I don't care, just freaking rob the place. Punch everybody to death. And I think he would do it. He ran out of Rander with his fists. That guy's got metal on his body. And he's swinging a green sword. Like, I, <laughs> it's not the first person I'd want to just run up to and start punching. But I don't know. I mean, bath salts, <laughs> they're a crazy drug, let me tell you. I just don't understand anything. Uh, I just want to get out of here. Okay. This place... Your eyes are I, I am, Arander. My eyes are open. What was that? And my... Oh, Vampire Fledgling, you are so done. Why does that keep happening to me? It's like getting stuck in the wall. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm just looking... No, I'm getting shot! <laughs> Stop! Get, get out of this... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the hell was that? Vampire Thrall, there's another one. Nobody's even paying attention to me. I'm invisible, Lorander. We have to take advantage of this. Did y'all see that arrow? It's like, chip. <laughs> like, right in front of me. Get off of Lorander. He is my buddy and pal, and you will not treat him this way. What am I doing? I'm not a ranged fighter. That's just to open up the attack. Yeah. What is going on with my game? There we go. Arandra, take all the fun. I'm here. I'm here, buddy. Oh, my health is getting a little, a little low. Okay, Arandra. We're doing good. Yes, you just uh, take all of their. What the hell is this? We're in the wrong place. <laughs> she just vanished. Holy crap! Okay, Rander is the best follower in the game. I, I just don't understand. I don't get it. You couldn't pay me any amount of money to even walk into this place. Much less just run around fighting invisible creatures of the night. And can somebody please talk to me about what the hell just happened up there? <laughs> Why I was just frozen, crouched down. Just like, I'm thinking about things. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to have a good think in the middle of a battle. Berros. Oh, good destruction! I'll never use that, but I've we'll keep it anyway. Before, but I've killed more than I care to admit. Yeah, I can tell. I'll just leave it at that. 
we don't have to talk about it, man. You just, whatever you're thinking about that's motivating you, you just keep thinking about it. Because uh, I'm reaping the benefits. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm the one picking up all the gold and stuff that's lying around. So, you just keep doing you, man. See, like that? 18 gold. That's like, you know, five pieces of bread at the local inn. It's nice. You just fed me for a week. I appreciate it. Oh. Did somebody call? Pest control? Alright, well, I expected a cutscene there, so that would have been a lot cooler, but yeah, you're still dead anyway. Ooh. Hind leg injury. Oh, it wasn't dead. Thanks for wrapping that up. Oh, look, you roasted him. He's gone. He's just a pair of crunchy legs. We'll grab those later. Delicious. You just gotta rip all the hairs off. Or you don't have to, if you don't have time. If it's like a to-go meal, you can just start munching on that. It's really just a matter of preference. I like to scrape them off with my axe of white run. I think that's what it's used for anyway. Alright. Uh, this looks like... I think we hit the mother load here. A lot of cages. I don't like it. Okay, it's fine. There's nothing in here. I knew it. All along. I was ready. Ooh, an enchanting table. I need to... I need to take a look at that for a second. Because I want to get this guy. Why is it blue in there? Do y'all see that weird blue cold light? Alright, render. We've always got time for a little academia. So let's, uh... Oh, am I wearing that? I should be wearing that. This is very useful, but I don't need that at all. I'm just gonna freaking do it. I could, I'd rather use the uh, levels. And I'm not wearing light armor anyway. Okay. Anyway. Blah. Sneak mode. Engage. Why is this cave leaky? Oh no! <laughs> we'll look at that later. They're here. You know, for some reason, this Simtar is one of the best weapons- Oh no. That I've had. Uh, oh yeah, how'd you like that timed block? Huh? I don't think you- Ow, oh, man, he can block too. He's like, I don't give a shit. Yeah! Oh, in your gut! Yes! What a coward. Didn't even put up a proper fight. Are you serious? I thought he did okay. I mean, <laughs> decent, at least. Yep, he's <laughs> got a little twitchy now. <laughs> oh, man. You're dying right now, as we speak. <laughs> that sucks. The last thing you hear is me making fun of you the way you look while you're dying. That's a bummer, isn't it? You got blood squirting everywhere. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> oh, man. Aren't we so much smarter, Rander? I think so. I mean, we're still walking around. Not laying there twitching. Infected by a vampire long ago. Oh no shit! He killed himself rather than change into one of those things. Yeah, these are pretty pretty terrible, and all they do is uh, spread destruction around. So I don't know. That's a choice you got to make if you are faced with this, which I should save because I don't want to make that choice. All right, Rander, this is where you run in and do stuff. Ah, <laughs> oh, but they're going right for me! Oh god! What do, what do you do here? I'm gonna use unrelenting force, and I'm gonna use my bow. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, did it work? I did. Yeah, look at him stun. Master vampire, right, Arander? You just need to not. Why are there three of them? They're multiplying. Oh god. Oh. Oh, I gotta level up. All right, Arander, you just stay right there. Don't move. This is how we're gonna win, right here. I don't know what my bow is doing, but it's just wrecking them. All right. Yeah, foos. That's right. Uh, is there another one? Holy crap, we did it. There's a master vampire in here. Not bad, man. Not bad at all. Okay. Rander, I'll just uh, pilfer through these ashes and check their pockets and whatnot. You just, uh, you're doing good, dude. I know I keep saying that, but I don't know. And he's not, like, overpowered, either. Actually, shoot, I don't even know what he is. He's a whole other animal. What is this? What did we stumble upon? Um, haha, <laughs> hi. I'm, uh, I'm Lionheart. Oh, I recognize this. <laughs> I like where this is going. Okay, uh, let me go up here first. <laughs> Alright, Arander, this is about to get so awesome. <laughs> Scroll of Magical Void! 
reduces the health percentage of our targets to match the magic ability? I don't think I'll ever use that. <laughs> I'm gonna sell that instantly. But Arander, come look at this. Look what I find. I find a majestic dog and lady statue. Might be a dude. I don't know. I don't think I can even talk to it. Crap. But we know where it is and it's cleared. <laughs> oh man, that's such a... Crap! I got blue balls. Blue balls for Barbus. Well, that's okay. We know where it is. Let's continue on our journey for the, uh... The graybeards and whatnot. Oh, we'll be back. We'll be back as I as soon as I find that little pupper dog. Okay, and for those of y'all who don't know, if you talk to this um, chiseled piece of rock, a dog will follow you around. It's pretty epic. Or no, maybe this is the end of that quest. I don't think we should be in here. Either way, oh man, I'm so glad I found this. I was about to walk through that whole thing over again. God, I'm a genius. Ah. Uh. Alright, Render. Well, let's uh, let's remember this spot right here because that could save us some time in the future. So, how the heck are we gonna remember this? I don't think we'll be able to even get up here. Yeah, whatever. We, ha ha. Out, ankles. Ah, <laughs> uh, should have done that, Render. Don't, don't copy me. Do as I say, not as I do. Unless it looked really fun, then you know who am I to judge you? You know what I've noticed about this path over here and there's not a lot going on here and yeah you see the occasional majestic goat herd look at these sexy furry little fuckers just living their lives running around but other than that not much just the occasional vampire cave I like it it's peaceful albeit a little too chilly Oh, the sky's clear as the snow begins to- Oh, you stay away from those guys! Oh, oh good, rock toy! Yes, I wanted that! That's fine. I like diseases. Makes me stronger over time. Ah, oh, god dang it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is the worst one. Ah. Uh. Randy, do you happen to have a cure disease potion? Didn't I look for this earlier and deduce, or not deduce, just see that I didn't have it? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, well... We, we're 25% more sucky than usual, Arander. I don't know where he is. He's still hanging up there where I jumped down and broke my ankles. Because he's smarter than I am. Or maybe he's sitting down praying tomorrow. He does stuff like that sometimes. Ooh. Alchemist Shack. Oh. Somebody's journal. Coming to this area was a brilliant decision. On a personal note, I've moved my alchemy work outside the shack. That's it. Kind of a short journal. It must have uh, just started that bad boy. And I, I don't know. What, you could put up some windows or, or something. But in the meantime, while you're out like hunting for snowberries or whatever, I'm just gonna take your everything in your garden because I mean I'm not really doing alchemy right now, but uh, I'd rather I have it and have the option than for you to have your little shack and beautiful little peaceful life, whoever you are. I'm just kidding. It looks pretty pretty well abandoned. I wouldn't do that to anybody. Unless they're a vampire, then that's why I'm doing this. So you just believe whatever you want to. Ooh, butterfly in a jar. Okay, Rander, you wouldn't be judging me now, would you? Because you know what happens to those who judge. Really not much. Wait, Wapajack. Taking that. Okay. And your flower! Oh, hey, little moose. Whoa! God, that guy is speedy. <laughs> uh, but not speedy enough, I'm afraid. Oh, man, look at those beautiful eyes. I'm gonna mount you in my home. This is the only reason that I killed you. Ah, oh, shit, I don't have a house yet. Uh, sorry, you're dead for no reason. I don't even want your meat. Ooh, well. Whoops-a-daisy on that. Did not see you! I was looking away! Uh, oh god! Oh, Rander! Come on, this is where you do stuff! Remember, I have rock joint! 25% less effective, never mind! Oh! Well done. Oh, stupid ass bear! Ah. Okay. I'm gonna take your pelt and turn it into a freaking blanket. Or backpack. Yeah, that's what you've been reduced to. Stupid, stupid bear. 
I don't know why anything chooses to face us anymore, Rander. I really don't. You think that these animals would have a little conference and be like, Okay, so what the hell happened to Bill the other day? We came across his body, and he doesn't have his skin on anymore. And somebody broke off a chunk of his antler. And Susie's over there like, I saw it! I saw it with my own little beady eyes! Lionheart and this weird dark elf guy muttering about Mara jumped out of the trees like some freaking gorillas. And they just ripped him apart. It was, it was awful. My children saw it. What do I tell my children happened to Bill? What was I talking about? How did we get to this point? <laughs> I don't remember. But Susie's in a bad way. Oh, cool. We made it to the city. All right. Well, next time we're going to... Uh, climb up that mountain and uh, see what the graybeards have in store for us. But, like the video if you liked it, leave me a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Detex V, signing out. Say something cool, Arander. Quick! Quick, we're losing him! Ah, he's not well in the spotlight. He's just not so good at it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Till next time.